Blessings Upon Blessings. This is J.U. Nuts from Richmond, VA. Please stay tuned for season seven of Let's Talk, Talk to the Lord. Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. And we are J.U. Trying to do what's right, but it
Blessings and more grace in the name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries. And thank you for tuning in for Season 7 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel radio talk show and kingdom our topic for this episode in season seven of let's talk to the lord is breast cancer awareness and our guest is independent christian artist laventa davis who will be testifying during this episode laventa davis welcome to let's talk to the lord hello everyone out there in gospel music land Amen. And before we hear your testimony, please share with the kingdom when you became active in breast cancer awareness. I became an active uh, member in breast cancer awareness in November of 2019. And Sister Davis, please share with the kingdom your testimony of repentance and your journey to relationship with our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. My journey of repentance and relationship was a lonely journey. God needed me to spend time alone with him. He wanted me to hear his voice. He wanted me to know his distinct voice. Amen. And Sister Davis, what is your status now in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God? My status? is an active, active kingdom builder. I am exclusively made, I believe, to tell the world of the good news and of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through my testimony. Amen, amen, and amen again. Kingdom, this is our first breast cancer awareness episode on Let's Talk to the Lord. So we will begin by giving you a little history about breast cancer awareness, the healing power of God, and Sister Davis will be sharing her testimony during this episode. Kingdom, the International Agency of Research on Cancer, IARC, is marking the Breast Cancer Awareness Month by focusing on the need for breast cancer screenings worldwide and the intergenerational effects of breast cancer deaths in 2020. Female breast cancer became the most commonly diagnosed cancer type globally. Around 2.6 million were diagnosed with breast cancer, and about 685,000 women died from the disease. Kingdom with timely diagnosis and appropriate treatment, cancer Breast cancer can generally have a good prognosis. However, breast cancer survivors is not in a way that is the same in all cases and at all times around the world. There are substantial disparities in survival between more developed and less developed countries as well between different social groups within countries. These disparities are due in part to reduced access to early diagnosis and timely completion of treatment. Kingdom IARC studies the barriers to accessing diagnosis and treatment and works with stakeholders to mitigate or eliminate these issues. Kingdom but God, in Jeremiah 17 and 14, declares, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Jeremiah 33 and 6 declares, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. The Brenton Septuagint translation declares, Behold, I bring upon her healing and a cure, and I will show myself to them and will heal her and make both peace and security. Kingdom to anyone 
who is sick with this disease or any disease, receive healing right now. I speak life. I speak the power of the blood of Jesus over you, and I release healing to you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Yeshua Jesus the Christ. I crush the demon of cancer in every realm, dimension, and portal and release healing and ministering angels to take authority, to take control, and to take dominion and Jesus' mighty name to totally destroy this and every disease, and it shall never return again. I decree and declare that it shall not be otherwise. In Jesus' Yeshua mighty name, amen. Amen. Kingdom Amen. Revelation 12 and 11 declares in verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Sister Davis, please share your testimony of healing in the name of Jesus. So I was a male lady, common every day single mother of three, carrying mail every day at the U.S. Postal Service, and um, I discovered a lump in my right breast. Um, I dealt with it for six months. I tried to put cream on it, and I took pills, and it wouldn't go away. So my mother convinced me to go see a doctor just to clarify my mind, to satisfy my mind, and that changed my life forever. Um, I went to see a doctor, and he discovered that I had, he did a biopsy, and he discovered that I had triple negative breast cancer, which meant that I had to go through chemo and therapy, and uh, chemotherapy and radiation. Um, He took a test and immediately scheduled me for a lumpectomy, which is an... um, surgery that removes the lump, and they did that, and then um, I went through six treatments of chemotherapy and 30 days of radiation. My hair fell out. That was a problem for me. Um, that was a struggle, but um, but God, um, after all of that, I went, I was distraught, and I really thought because, you know, I am a Christian. I've always loved God. My father is a pastor of a church, so um, I'm not far from faith. Um, I thought God had, I had did something wrong. I really thought God had did something wrong. So I reached out to a friend of mine, Greg O'Quinn, which is a local um, artist in Dallas, producer, yes. Um and I reached out to him, and Mr. I, I told the storm, and yeah. I, 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 we talked four or five hours about um, my situation. And from after the battle, he convinced me that it was t- God was clo- closing every door, so I would have to walk through this one door. You have to walk in destiny. God is favoring favoring you. Favor doesn't feel good sometimes, but God is favoring you so much that he is closing every door, so you have to walk in purpose. You have to walk in destiny. So I I, I received that and created this four-song project, The Healing Experience, about my whole uh, breast cancer journey. It is available at this point on um, all streaming platforms, and um God has showed up from then to now. God has showed up in imaginable ways. Uh, I would say just keep going and keep the faith, be encouraged, and back to you, Apostle Rob. Amen. And Sister Davis, share a word of encouragement to those who will hear this podcast that are going through what you just came through and what are their first steps to their healing? The first step is recognize, be cognizant of your environment. Check yourself. Every woman knows herself. So um, just embrace what God is giving you and move forward. I would say keep going. 
Um, never get tired of doing the right thing. Healing begins in your mind. Um, but if you're going through, get checked. Go to a doctor and get checked. Find a way to get checked. And it is a, it's a curable disease. Um, people have died from it, but if you catch it in its earliest stages, it's a curable disease. So if you just, you know, take their walk out on faith. I was nervous. I was scared. Did not want to face the unfamiliar. But I would say to anyone going through what I went through, just face the unfamiliar and trust God. Amen. Amen and amen again. LaVenta Davis, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. I am LaVenta, OSU graduate, gospel artist, single mother of three. My project, A Healing Experience, is on all available streaming platforms, um, YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Apple Music. My booking agent is my 75-year-old father. If you want to have me come testify and minister to your um, soul, his name is Reverend Richard Davis, and his number is 214-440-7777. I have four um, songs on the project at this moment, and we're in the process of creating a whole CD. But uh, you can support my ministry by downloading. Amen. And please tell us about your music being featured during this podcast. We just heard Because of You, and we're getting ready to hear You Pull Me. So you, Because of You um, was just a, a basic eye-opening experience about God exposing me to breast cancer and that whole feeling of going through breast cancer. But because of him, um, I'm still here, so that is the, the reason for that song. And then You Pulled Me, getting, you're getting ready to hear that. You Pulled Me is more relational. Um, I went through a few bad relationships on the road to destiny, and God pulled me out of those situations. He had plans for me. So I was ready to settle in certain areas, and he would not let me settle. He pulled me. So that's where that came from. Amen. And, Kingdom, we want to let you know that the music of LaVenta Davis is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International. And before we go, Sister Davis, I just wanted to ask you, is there anything else that you would like to release or say to the listening audience that will hear this podcast? I love you all. Keep going. Um, Stay inspired. Don't become weary and well-doing, um, and keep your head up and look for LaVenta. Amen, amen, and amen again. Kingdom, let's talk to the Lord, can be heard on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You may download episodes from speaker.com found under Let's Talk to the Lord. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time from KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and 11 a.m. every Saturday from Sensational Sound. Soundsradio.net. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. International. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones found under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. You can now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International, and she'll play Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, we are now on Roku. To find the radio station on your Roku, please go to your MyTuner radio application on your Roku, then search for the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Station to listen to this episode on your Roku, please find the iHeart Radio application on your Roku, then search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International is your 24-hour station for talk news, radio interviews, and Christian music. On Amazon, order our book, 
spiritual guidance through Alzheimer's disease with my sister, author Kimberly V. Porter. All of my music are available on Amazon and all digital stores and outlets. Lord, Give Me Another Chance featuring Sean E. Skills and Tamara Lloyd is available under the name Apostle John E. Ross. And my first EP, Remember Now Thy Creator, featuring King David the Vessel, a new dual and doctrine, is also available under the name Minister John E. Ross. So kingdom, until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yeah.